Well, Megan, yeah, they have all lanes now southbound open, but you can see on, from this vantage point, even you can see just how slow a go it is while this traffic that was backed up, I, I understand, for a couple of miles beyond University, back northbound from University. I mean, the traffic was just a mess. Of course, that has to all flush out here right now. But the ramp coming off University out on the southbound I-25, that still is closed. So keep that in mind. Denver police confirming for us just a short time ago that the shooter in this case, the man they have in custody right now, was an Uber driver. And the man who died, the man who was shot, was a passenger. More on that coming up. But all of this happening just before 3 o'clock this morning. And the, the man who was the driver, the Uber driver, was taken into custody at that time. He was put in a handcuffs by Denver police and taken away. And we understand he suffered some kind of medical emergency on the scene, but he's going to be okay. The car the men were in was heading south on I-25. The shooting took place just as the car was passing over the University Avenue Ridge right by DU. Here's Sonny Jackson from Denver police. The Uber driver and his passenger got into a conflict inside his vehicle. Shots were exchanged, were, were fired, and the passenger, it appears, was shot and subsequently transported to the hospital where he later died. At this point in time, it's an ongoing investigation. We're not going to speculate as to what happened inside that vehicle. Again, let me stress this is preliminary information. Now, you may be able to see some of the pictures that we have here. You can see the car up against the wall here. That is a retaining wall that is right here on the ramp going out on the I-25, southbound I-25 off University. Police say after the shooting took place, the car veered off the road and hit that wall. They're asking anybody, any witnesses that may have been in this area, again, University and I-25 at about 2.45, 3 o'clock in the morning, to please give them a call. They're looking for some help. At this time, they need some help, and they want to find out exactly what happened out here. So if you were in this area, Area, please think about giving Denver police a call. It would be very, very much appreciated on the investigators. And they've been up on the road all morning long trying to collect <laughs> evidence. Live down along I-25, Jim Hooley, Fox 30.